Welcome to um, Making a Murderer, my journal. So this is an easier way for me than, than doing it another way. So I want to talk about one of Mrs. Z's um, quotes. So it says, Sikiki Nope, Body Burned at Smelter, 11405, 3 a.m. Tatic worked the night shift at the Smelter f facility. His nickname Skinny. Okay, so I'm not sure because I don't have all the details like she does, what skinny means um, compared to sickiki or sicky. Um, but let's go look at the note and see, you know, what it really is about. Okay, so let's see here. We'll go put that down and now we'll bring up the actual trial exhibit regarding that. I do find it interesting that this note itself, um, according to... Let's get down. We're going to look at that in just a minute. Let's look here. We've got the Calumet County Sheriff's Department. Um, they're asking the Wisconsin Crime Laboratory if they can fingerprint or pull some prints off of this item that has been found in the Green Bay Post Office. And it appears to be a letter, parentheses, note, um, and they have it in a plastic bag. So they're wanting the prints to be pulled off and checked against Dassey, Avery, and Janda families, okay? So those are the targeted people to see if if they had written the note. So we'll get back to the note. I'll show you that in just a minute. But right here, this is the actual response that we get from the um, confidential report of the laboratory. They basically say... Um, that the following item item was examined and processed for uh, presence of identification, finger and or palm prints. And um, they mentioned the letter um, to the Manitowoc Sheriff and that um, no latent prints were suitable for identification. So no. All right, let's get to the good stuff. So this is the Sikaki note. That's because it looks like the guy signed it, okay? So if you look at that, could that be skinny? Hmm, maybe. I could kind of see where if you mess around with that, you might could pull out an N out of that second K or something. But let's let's shrink it down. Let's look at the note. So this note was found in Green Bay Post Office. It says body was burnt up in aluminum smelter 3 a.m. Friday morning, sick a key. So there's a couple issues here. We're missing an A in Friday. So they can't spell Friday. Um, let's look at the second part. This is the back side of it or whatever, the front side of it. Um, Manitowoc Sheriff Avery. So they can spell Manitowoc, but not Friday. So, you know, if this was somebody writing this as a child, perhaps, um, that'd be one theory, um, that somebody was scared and that they were trying to get help and get this out there. They would have had access to the Green Bay post office if this is true so they may have had a parent with them um but aluminum smelter it, it's written in there so that's handwritten cursive and so is manitowoc sheriff but the rest of it is print so it almost looks like two different writing um Aluminum is, is prominent, so I would guess that if it was straight up, they wanted us to think that it was an aluminum smelter, not a crematory. But if this is a misdirect, then the answer would be it was a professional job in a crematory. So you've got both sides of the coin there. On this side, you've got um, the Manitowoc Sheriff and Avery, so that you know that this body they're referring to up here must be the Teresa Halbach um, disappearance explanation that somebody did this. Now, it's kind of interesting because, as Zellner pointed out, Mrs. Z, as I like to call her, as she pointed out, um, let's go back to that note. We'll go up here. It explains that working at 3 a.m. would be Scott Taddock because he worked the night shell, um, shift at a smelter fix factory interesting so that would put him in in the um possibility of doing this you know but 
the thing is, is it was found in Green Bay. And he went to Green Bay. That's where his mom had surgery. So who was with him that may have dropped this note? Is that a question we want to ask? Is somebody dropping a note that was close to the situation is aware that he's the one that did it? Now, I'm not saying he did. I'm just saying, based off what we're being asked, there's some questions. So we're going to work on this. Um, we're going to come back to it on part two. We're going to dive in a little bit and see if there's some other meaning, hidden meaning, hidden meaning um, to the note because our group may have a new theory. We'll see how this goes. Talk to you again soon. Thank you for watching.